Welcome to Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is lesson number 26 and I'm going to call this lesson Sometimes There is a Better Way. Um, you could probably also call it Sometimes Eric is Just Stupid. Uh, but that's because I, I didn't think to do something I should have thought to do earlier on. Um, we created this profile. Early on we created a profile called uh, uh, 101 Text, which is when we received a text message it would read the text. Then we created this separate profile to turn it on or off if we're on uh, uh, if we're on the uh, uh, phone. Um, we didn't want our phone reading text messages to us if we're on a call. So we created a separate profile that turned the text uh, profile on or off. Well, we didn't need to do that. Um, it's good to know that you can create another profile or you can within a task um, turn a profile off or on uh, because there are times when you will need to do that but in this case we didn't need to do that there was an easier way and I'm gonna show you let me take this off so then I can show you and add it back on but the 101 SMS pop that's uh, uh, the task we created that not only would would announce who's texting us but also would put the little pop-up scene with the text message and uh, the picture of the person and their name and then a couple of buttons to give us options. Uh, so it would do all of that. And of course, once again, you, you don't want that happening when you're on a phone call. So you could create a separate profile that whenever you're on a call turns this profile off and when the call ends turns it back on. But you don't have to do that. The reason you don't have to do that is because as uh, we've done in previous lessons, you can have multiple context. So we already have the one trigger, which is a text received, but if we long press that and click add, and then click state, and then click phone, and then call, now we're adding another uh, context based on a phone call. We want it to be true not just with incoming or outgoing, but with any kind of call. Anytime we're on a call, and what we're going to do is click invert. By clicking invert, that means if you're not on a call. So we'll save that, and you'll see. Now, if you received a text and you're not on a call, then it will trigger the uh, task 101 who text, which states tells us who texted us as well as has the pop-up box to show us the text message. However, if you receive a text and you are on a call, well, both conditions have not been met. And this only triggers when both conditions have been met. So if you receive a text and you're on a call, then the not call hasn't been met, so therefore nothing will happen. It will only trigger when you receive a text and you're not on a call. Very simple way uh, to make sure it doesn't activate, uh, doesn't uh, announce the texture or show the scene when you're on a phone call. Um, so much better than creating a separate profile to turn this profile on when you make when you're on a call and turn it off when you end a call. Both ways work, but this is the more efficient, better way. Um, but like I said, there are times when you may need to create a profile to turn another profile on or off, um, especially if you're working with scenes and using. Uh, uh, buttons inside of scenes to turn profiles off and on. That's one way to do it. Um, but in this case, this is a much simpler way to do it. Uh, thanks to the uh, uh, guy who pointed that out. Uh, I'll put his name up there because I can't think of it right now, but I'll put it on the screen. Give him his kudos because he's the one who said, hey, can't you just do this? And then I looked at it I was like, oh, yeah. I don't know why I didn't think about think of that, but I hadn't. So sometimes you miss things. That's so it goes with programming and so it goes with Tasker. Anyway, like I said, sometimes there's a better way. Sometimes with Tasker you figure out a better way or sometimes you can't see it because you can't see the forest for the trees and then someone else comes along and says, hey, what about this? And it's right in front of your face the whole time. Anyway, that's it for this uh, uh, lesson. Uh, click that like button, share it with anyone you know. Uh, uh, subscribe to the channel for Android app reviews, product reviews, and more Tasker tutorials, or just subscribe to this playlist if you want to keep up with Tasker tutorials and uh, spread the word to everyone you know. Check out my website, hollywoodphoto.com, when you get a chance. And that is about it. Until next time, so have fun with Tasker. Mm -hmm.